Okay, in this case, we're going to talk about implicit differentiation. So sometimes we have a relation instead of a function. Um, we've been talking, like here, you just have your explicit form. Uh, one of the variables is written in terms of the other. But in this case, we have a relation instead of a function. And so we'll need to use implicit differentiation. So um, that's when it's not written in terms of one variable and cannot be solved easily for one variable. If we kind of look through this for a minute, it says um, everything that we've used so far has worked well explicitly. However, we can't um, use that to solve y as a function of x. For those particular cases, when we have these two variables, an x variable and a y variable, then um, we're going to have to use implicit differentiation. Okay, so basically we're going to be differentiating y with respect to x. Um, also, there's just some notation here, d dx, so the derivative of y is dy dx. Okay, so you'll see this when we um, do this in the examples in just a minute. Just to write this down and step to have somewhat of a procedure to fall back on if you get lost, for implicit we're going to give it an equation. Um, involving x and y and, in, and assuming that y is differentiable function of x. We're going to differentiate both sides with respect to x, so that'll be our first step. The second thing we're going to do is collect all the dy dx terms on the left, move everything else to the right. And then the third thing we'll do is we'll factor out the dy dx and then solve for that, that term, the dy dx term so that we can get that solution. All right, so let's see how this works with some examples. Okay, with these, we're going to assume that y is a differential function of x, and this is our given example. You can obviously see that we have x squared terms and y squared terms, so we're going to use implicit differentiation. And going back to our rules, our um, steps, I mean, differentiate both sides with respect to x. So our first step is we're going to take d dx, derivative with respect to x, of every term in the problem. Let me put that in black. So we'll have d dx of the y squared, and then we take d dx of 3. So step one, differentiate uh, with respect to x, so every term in the problem. All right, let's go ahead and evaluate that. What's the derivative of x squared? 2x, good. All right, now this is the derivative of x, so this is, um, we've got to differentiate with dy dx, so it's like using the chain rule right here. So what is the derivative of y squared? 2y but we also have to account for the dy dx because it's that different variable. So we'll have 2y and then we have dy dx. Make sure you can see that as a y. All right. Now what about, what's the derivative of 3? Just 0. Good. So this is going to be a very basic one. The next step, if we toggle back over here for a second, collect all terms with dy dx on the left and move everything else to the right. So this is my only dy dx term. Shift everything else to the right. So I'm going to have dy dx is equal to, we move that to the other side and you just get negative 2x. Last step says solve for dy dx. So what do we do to get this by itself? Divide both sides by negative 2y, good. And then we would just simplify that, so dy dx and um, that will give us, simplifies to what, just positive x over y. Okay, and that's what we're looking for. Derivative of y with respect to x. Okay, here's our second example. Um, clearly, we're going to use implicit here for all of these. So we're going to take d dx, take the derivative with respect to x of every term in the So, d dx of every term in the problem. 
Okay, in this first step, we're going to calculate. But what about this guy? This term right here, how many terms are in there? Two, right? So when we're doing this, we're going to have, that's, we're going to have the power rules, I mean the uh, product rules, so we're going to have first times derivative of the second plus second times derivative of the first when we take the derivative of this. All right, so let's see that. Let's work on that one. So we're going to have first term times the derivative. So we're just going to write this out this time. Derivative of the second term plus the second term, which is y, times the derivative of the first, which is x cubed. Okay, all of this is going to represent our derivative there. We're going to do the same thing over here. We have um, product rule, so let's bring down our plus. Let's open up another set of brackets. So let's do first, which is y cubed, times derivative of the second, derivative of x, plus second times the derivative d dx of the first. And on our right, we're just going to have zero. Okay, one step at a time, we're just going to break this down. We're going to bring down x cubed here. What is the derivative of y? One, but because it's a dx of a y term, what do you have? You have one dy dx. Okay, then we just bring down y, and what's the derivative of derivative of x, d dx of x cubed? Just 3x squared. Good, okay. Just work our way across. We're going to bring down y cubed. What's the derivative of x? Just 1, good. Then we have x. What's d dx of y cubed? So what's the derivative of y cubed? 3y squared, but we also have to have dy dx, right? dy dx. All right, our next step is to do what? We'll kind of, we'll simplify a little bit. Um, at the same time and then bring every term that has a dy dx in it every term that has a dy dx in it we want it on the left and everything that doesn't we're going to move it to the right okay so this is this term this multiplied out is just this term we subtracted this one to the other side and subtracted this one to the other side let's take a GCF out of this so we're going to pull out the dy dx Okay, and last up, how do we solve to get dy dx by itself? Yeah, divide everything by this parenthesis, whatever you do to one side, two to the other. Okay. So this is going to be your dy dx. Okay, our next, um, although this is looks complex, just break it down into our steps. The first thing we're going to do is take ddx of all terms. Okay, to calculate the derivative of this, remember we would use um, e to the 2x and then times the derivative of 2x. Okay, so we have chain rule that we used here. So we have derivative of this function times the derivative of the function here. To the right, derivative of the outside function, which is cosine, times the derivative of that inside function. So using chain rule on those, we're going to simplify in the next step. This one's just going to give us 2e to the 2x. Okay, we get, bring this down. What is d dx of 1, of x? I mean, sorry, just 1, right? Okay, 1 plus, what's d dx of 3y? What's the derivative of 3y? Just 3, but we have dy dx, right? Good. All right, next step, we're going to distribute 
like this term distributed out and simplified. Okay, once it's distributed out, we have this. Our next thing is to get the dy dx term by itself. Well, it's over here to the right by itself, so just to keep this simple, I'm going to move this term to the other side. Okay, so you see that happen there? And our last step is to solve for dy dx. So what do we do? Divide both sides by this term. Okay, and so you can check your answer there.